Well, it certainly feels like it's been the longest time since the last major gameplay update to Minecraft. This one being 23W04A released yesterday. Of course, I'm going to be live on Twitch right now because this is a huge snapshot, which probably means, as you can see, everything here seems to be grayed out. That's a new sort of thing. There's a lot hidden behind 1.20 that we still don't know about, and that is extremely exciting stuff. The first thing I'm going to grab is a smithing table and right off the bat you can see 12 new items, 11 of them called trims, and this one is an upgrade item which you have to use now for netherite. Now I'm going to make this as concise as I can for you guys because this is a gameplay change so there's new stuff that you need to do. Things could still change. What I'm going to do first is grab myself a smithing table and you can see now there are three slots on the left instead of two. And this thing is constantly changing. I love this, by the way. This is not something I'm used to seeing in Minecraft, an icon that's dynamically changing depending on the item you put there. But as you can see, it is switching between two of the items, one of them being the upgrade item and one of them being the trim. Let's first of all upgrade a diamond armor to a netherite armor. So we need, let's say, let's grab a diamond chestplate and then a smithing template. And of course, you'll need your netherite ingot. And this is how you do it. So the first thing you need to do is put the template in. You can't shift click this in there because it doesn't understand what you want to do first. So let's put the template in. And now the game recognizes that you want to upgrade diamond into netherite. So let's put the chest plate inside and then the netherite ingot. And you now have the chest plate. This signifying what it will look like. And done. Now I want to preface, a lot of people do not like this change. This is causing some controversy. However, I do love it because it is going to require a lot more diamond. And I'll explain why in a second. So now let's get into trims, aka customization. And it is purely cosmetic. And these are all the base decorative pieces. And what you need to do next is grab something to dye it. You can use diamonds, you can use redstone, you can use quartz, even amethyst shards this one, not these. And then you put, once again, the operative item in first, and then it knows that you're trying to decorate it. So this is going to switch between the items that you can use, like diamonds, emeralds, uh, ingots. So I'm going to put the chest plate in, and then amethyst, and there we go. So now you can see that it has been decorated with some sort of purple glint, not the enchantment glint. I know it says upgrade, it's not actually an upgrade. 831, 831. So now I'm wearing Thanos armor. Some things to point out, you cannot do this. So if it's a netherite piece and you're trying to use a netherite ingot, you cannot do that because, I mean, it's the same thing. This would work. This would work. I fancy the gold. Absolutely. Now, the reason why it's going to cost a lot of diamonds is because these things can be duplicated. They can be quite difficult to find, so you only need to find one of them and then you can use diamonds to duplicate it to create new ones. And the way you decide what block to use in the middle is by referencing what the trim or the template looks like. And you kind of have to guess that. So this won't work because this trim doesn't look like netherrack. The block that matches this is cobblestone. So I've got my cobblestone that goes there, this goes at the top, and then you just surround the rest. Now you've got two. I don't like that. I hope there'll be some sort of tip. You can refer to the wiki, but that shouldn't be the way things are. This is absolutely fantastic. Minecraft doesn't need new mobs. I mean, it'd be nice. It needs gameplay updates. That is what keeps a game alive. And of course, I leave you with this. One of the most fascinating things about this update is the ability to customize armor without removing the current set of armor. What do I mean by this? So I've created my very own sus armor trim. So I'm going to put this here. Let's get all of the netherite stuff and my favorites, the gold coloring. Here we go. Sus gold armor trim. There we go. And I can wear this. But I'm going to put this on the armor stand just so you can see. Good snapshot.